Top 20 Best Accidental Partridge Moments So Far Number 20 Brosnan List and hearken, gentlemen, that be of free-born blood. I shall tell you of a good yeoman. His name was Robin Hood. Good evening. I'm Pierce Brosnan. He is a legend that goes by many names. The Earl of Huntington, Robin of Loxley, Robert Fitzsooth, and Robert Hood. But to centuries of storytellers, he is simply Robin Hood. Who was this outlaw? Did he actually exist? Was he real or just a medieval myth carried on for 800 years? It is a question that scholars still debate today. And for the next hour, we will explore the myth of the hooded man. Was he fact or fiction? Tonight, we will find out. Number 19. Richard. Today, I'm going to teach you how to resuscitate Annie here. <laughs> Hello, Annie. Really good. Just so that the chest rises. It's really easy, isn't it? Really it's easy. Dead, dead simple. I'll never forget that. Thanks very much indeed. You're welcome. Number 18. Michael Owen. Sorry about that, folks. Just a bit too low. The shatterproof glass came in handy. I don't think Sam's going to be too pleased with us getting in the way of his drive. Good thing he has that great Scottish sense of humour. Number 17. Barrymore. The shit. Number 16, Stapleton. Yeah, you're a fan, aren't you? Yeah. Mega fan, you are. How long have you been a fan? About 20 years, John. Yeah? Mm. Why? Why yeah. couldn't you settle for girls or football or, you know, why? why? <laughs> because the doctor's more interesting than girls. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the shirt, actually, is obviously a, a replica, but the coat is original. Yeah. And what, what do you pay for that, by the way? Yeah. About 1,500 pounds. You pay 1,500 quid for that? Yeah. For the BBC? Number 15. It's only Dicky again. What's that? Horny handed son of toil. She works! Hooray. Number 14. Mel. Gliding through like a swan. Number 13. Gold Bridge. You know what? It's actually, it's like my granddad used to say, winners go home with the prom queen. Very sexist in the modern day, but actually he would not have said that because he wasn't America, American and we don't get the prom, we don't get proms. But what he meant is when he was down the pub with his mates, you know, probably back in the God knows when, because uh, it's my granddad we're talking about, rest in peace. Uh, he's not doing it anymore. But basically be down the pub with his mates and it was... You know, maybe that maybe there was a a girl there because he was, you know, he did he was straight. Um, maybe there was a girl there that he wanted to, you know, go home with, and maybe his mates wanted to go home with, or well, back in those days, probably invite them to the cinema. I, I don't know what went on in those days, but uh, anyway. Number twelve, Edmonds. I want to end this on an up note because we will get what Joe wants, and in the meantime, I wanted to give you a gift from us. To Joe. I know he loves the great outdoors. We did a little bit of research, so I know this is what he would want. It is a oh, state-of-the-art so all-terrain wheelchair. It is the latest. It's carbon fibre, aluminium. It's so he can get out and about. Thank you very much. Because, Debbie, believe me, we might not always believe in what goes on overseas, but when we stop respecting the ladies and gentlemen of our armed forces, this country really is in a shocking state. See you after the break. Number 11, Chris Eubank. I 
I'm Christopher Livingston Eubank. Football has to look at itself and say, can I really, just because the government is offering its teat, do I really have to muscle on that? Simon Jordan's flamboyant phrases. My reaction to Scott Parker kind of was, oh, shut up. Boo-hoo, get on with it. What should Ollie got a soul shot do? I should do the dance of the seven veils. Problem is, you shuffle your pack, you shuffle your pack, you shuffle your pack. He is a very decent football manager, but you cannot polish a turd. No, it looks all right. Do you think a man of my calibre would get his hair cut with a pair of potato peelers like Alex has done? <laughs> Number nine, Pierce. Could you remember a single racist thing that I said about her or have ever said about her? Well, thank you for having me on, Pierce. I was surprised when I uh, found out I would be on your show. We're an uncensored show, Ernest. We take, we take all types on here. My, I, I, well, all types. Well, there you go. Um. Number eight, Lineker. Here we go again. New season, new titles, new managers, new signings. But apart from that, nothing much has really changed. Seven games on the way from the opening day of the Premier League. We've gone with two up front in the studio, Alan Shearer and Ian Wright have it all covered. Number seven. It's only Ruddy Dicky again. You look at the beach and you think, ah, oh, pretty, pretty, lovely golden sand, that's safe. Uh-uh, yeah. not in certain parts of the country. Quicksand. Number six. Okay. It's Richard again. Laura can now do her cross-studio walk. I on the weather walk. forecast. It's been, it's been nearly a month, so I shall practice. And you put on a lot of weight with a lack of exercise, haven't you? <laughs> Thanks, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> it's number five, and it's Jeremy Kyle. Mr. Sakari. Jeremy Kyle, ITV. How are you? Listen, I'm doing an investigation to landlords who charge exorbitant rents for people who shouldn't be allowed to live there, so what do you say? Mr. Sakari's done one. And number four, Rishi Sunak. Very nasty man. Now, you've been here before, have you? I have, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a great place, isn't it? Yeah, it's a superb job. Right, that's that. That's the part we let me get. What are you calling me out? Yeah. Well, that is exactly what I'm trying to do. Exactly what I'm trying to do. Uh, there's the piece there. What, what do you have a bit? You, you work in business. Do you want some fruit? No, I'm, I'm homeless. We're into the top three now. Number three, Warwick Davis. We did a lot of sports at my school. It's quite sporty. Um, so, for example, the long jump, right? My, my run up to the long jump was textbook. Brilliant. I mean, it took a long time, but it was textbook. <laughs> took off, didn't even make it as far as the sand. You know, so it's embarrassing. Then we've got the high jump, right? I couldn't even get onto the crash mat. Oh, I couldn't even jump that high. Um, we, we did the hurdles, or as I used to call it, the limbo. Um, that wasn't great. And in at number two, Jake. I, I agree with, with Howard, the jump is natural position, you raise your arm, but there's that little extension afterwards where he's held the arm up and normally you'd bring your arm down when, you've, when you're landing. So I, I would have been inclined to have given that. But All I'm right. not a referee. <laughs> We've noticed. <laughs> Some say you weren't a goalkeeper rather. And at number one, Oh, God. It's only rich again. The Prime Minister's also got to announce the date of the next general election. It's not that far off now. Uh, you're still way behind in the opinion polls. We know things can change in politics, but it seems very unlikely. I have to ask you, are you basically clearing your desk? Yes, I'm convinced. He's my best friend. <laughs> I love you, in a way.